Hi, I'm Cheryl Piper of the Marketing Department of Sepro Systems in Langley, BC, Canada. And today I'll be speaking with my colleague Francois van de Marva, who is the General Manager of Sepro Mixing and Pumping, a division of Sepro Systems. In 2004, Francois began his career as an extractive metallurgical engineer in South Africa. And during his career, he has worked for many companies such as Anglo-American, Multotech, and then in 2017, he joined Sepro Mixing and Pumping as the general manager. Outside of work, uh, Francois is proud dad of three kids, a fur dad to a very big dog, and a husband to beautiful wife, Nadia. As the head of Sepro Mixing and Pumping, Francois says that he loves providing process solutions and helping his customers. So thanks for joining me today, Francois. And today we are going to speak about one of the three main areas of mixing, uh, solid suspension. In previous conversations, we've covered the topics of gas dispersion and blending. So first off, can you define for me a clear definition of what solid suspension is? Good morning, Cheryl. Thank you for this opportunity to talk about solid suspension. Now, in the mixing world, solid suspension is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, we provide a mixer that produces enough flow to overcome the settling velocity of the solid particles. And, and that way, it will then suspend the particle in a tank. And that can be just off the bottom, it can be on the bottom, it can be full suspension. Typically, these applications are used um, as for buffer tanks or feed tanks where there's varying levels and you want to prevent any solid settling out. Or in leaching applications where you need uniform suspension throughout the whole volume of the tank to ensure that the leachate gets into contact with the particles um, and more specifically with the metal and precious metal mineral particles that it needs, it needs to leach out. Okay, so that, that's interesting. You spoke of full suspension and off-bottom suspension. Are there different degrees of solid suspension? Yes, the on-bottom suspension is um, where there's enough flow to just move the solids around the bottom of the tank and prevent um, any progressive solids buildup. Typically with a bottom discharge tank, you, you have that. Off-bottom suspension is where the particles are from the floor of the tank to about the, the impeller height and they, they bounce around the bottom of the tank and then full suspension is where the flow that's created by the agitator is uh, to such an extent that the particles are suspended all the way to the top of the tank. Full uniformity is um, where there's enough flow to lift the solid particles all the way to the top of the tank or we say 95% of the volume is, is in uniformity because the very top layer the flow pattern actually changes from a, a vertical to horizontal flow pattern. So those are the three main um, levels of solid suspension, on bottom, off bottom, and full uniformity. Okay, that clears it up, but why is it so important to know what level of suspension is required by the client? Well, it's very important to know what level of suspension is required because the power required for on bottom and for full suspension is cons is vastly different. Um, up to 25 times the power is needed to go from on bottom suspension to full suspension. So you might need a second impeller to make sure that the top section of your tank is also uniform. So the the cost and the power can can increase dramatically uh, depending on what type of suspension. And very often, unfortunately, clients don't know what what mixing they do require if it's a bottom discharge tank feeding a filter for example you do not need full uniformity in your tank you only need to ensure that the flow going out the bottom of the tank is a consistent percent solids so you do not need full uniformity throughout the whole tank okay last question how can i check to see if my tanks have build up yeah, very interesting question how do you actually if you cannot see inside the tank how do you determine if you have, if you have a problem well, one easy way is um, people take a weighted ball with some spikes on it and they um, lower it along the side of the of the baffle. The reason you have spikes is that um, 
normally a fillet form so the bottom of your tank and the, if you just drop the ball it might just roll off so you've got spikes to to um, dig into into that solace and prevent them from rolling down and then you can physically check what that layer distance is compared to the the height of your tank and see if there's a, a buildup of solids another way of doing it is uh, by draining the tank and the third way which is a lot easier is by taking thermal images of the tank especially in climates where there's a big difference between the ambient temperature and the actual slurry temperature a buildup of solids will show cooler sections on the on the tank okay well thanks for your time today francois it's been great speaking with you yeah, thank you very much. Um, solids buildup is a constant problem and um, uh, there's various reasons for it, why it is caused, most often changing process conditions or um, uh, the wrong impeller design, too small impellers running at, at too fast uh, operating speed that still produces the pumping volume that is uh, required to suspend solids. But because the impeller is so small, it just doesn't reach the size of a tank where the volume is needed or the flow is needed to suspend the solids. And that's in most cases what we see as a, as a cause for solid suspension. But uh, please contact us. We, we know exactly how to calculate um, to ensure that the agitator has enough flow uh, that you do not end up with, um, with any solid settlement issues. Thank you.